the Lord told me to take Christianity to court today. So at this time, I become a lawyer for God. I'm taking Christianity to court. You say, where did you get the authority? I got it from God. God told me to take Christianity into court today. Try Christianity for the crimes against God that they've committed. It's off of the crimes that's been committed against God. And in Revelation, the last chapter, which is the 20. Second chapter of the book of Revelation. 18th and 19th verses. For I testify unto every man to hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city from the things which are written in this book. We go now to Galatians chapter 1. Everything I give you, I give you Bible for it. It's the word of the living God. You either believe this or you don't. God said it, I believe it, that settles it. And now, I began to read in Galatians chapter 1, verse 8, and I'll read verse 9 as well. Paul writing said, and though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed as we said before so say I now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have received let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. It's time to take Christianity into the court this afternoon and try Christianity for the crimes Christianity has committed against God. God gave his only begotten son. Sent him on all, all the way from heaven. Among audacious men and women. Left the throne of God. And was born in Bethlehem. Took on the form of flesh. Brought divine blood to save the human race. The Bible declares that the angel of the Lord visited the Virgin Mary and, and told her that she was going to have a child. That the Holy Ghost would overshadow her. And that which was conceived within her womb would be a child of the Holy Ghost. She said, so be it unto me according to thy word. She was a virgin. Engaged to be married. The Bible says a virgin gave birth to a son. The angel said, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. 
But many preachers today, Christianity has allowed them to be in the pulpits preaching that there isn't such a thing as a virgin birth. With all the power that God has given me, with all the strength He has given me, I come against that rotten doctrine of theirs. I accuse them of committing a crime against God. God gave His whole heart when He gave us Jesus. There's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we can be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. I accuse them and I accuse Christianity for allowing them to be in the pulpits in the name of God. I accuse. God sent me to accuse Christianity. He told me to bring Christianity into court and try Christianity for crimes committed against the God of heaven that created the heavens and the earth. Yes, I accuse Christianity of endorsing or allowing preachers to preach fig leaf religion. What do you mean fig leaf religion? Remember when Adam and Eve sinned against God? They sewed fig leaves together to hide themselves. So they're teaching people that you don't need the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins. The Lord said without the shedding of blood there's no forgiveness for sins. The Lord created a holy man Adam, and a holy woman Eve put him in a beautiful garden trees of all kinds of lovely fruit you can partake and eat of all the fruit of these trees but that one over there is evil it's of the devil if you eat of that fruit you will die you will die but they partook of the fruit they died spiritually. They were driven from the Garden of Eden. They lost everything because of one sin. The Lord told the first man and woman, the soul that sinner shall die. In the name of God and in the name of Jesus Christ. I accuse Christianity today saying that you don't need the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins. God told me he gave his whole heart and all of his love to make us a Calvary. Throughout the Bible it is the soul that sinners shall die. Many, many preachers throughout the world are preaching everybody's sins. When a preacher says that, I say to people, he sins, you can count on it. He's trying to make him a side door to heaven. The Lord said, if you try to climb up any other way, you're a thief and a robber. Fig leaf religion. Just something to cover yourself outside, not inside. Shake the preacher's hand. Join some church on planet Earth. You'll be all right. I accuse Christianity for allowing preachers in the pulpit to say you can sin and still go to heaven. It's a lie of the devil. The soul that sinned shall die. Ezekiel the great prophet declared years later the soul that sinned shall die. If you're sinning, willfully sinning before God today, 
today, if you were to die right now, you would drop right into hell. But we have preachers in the pulpits today in every nation teaching that there's no fire in hell. The Lord said where the soul dieth not and the fire is never quenched. I accuse Christianity for allowing these preachers to take over the pulpits and ruin people and send people to hell with the rotten, damnable doctrine that they're putting out. If you're here today and your preacher doesn't believe there's a burning hell, if he doesn't preach that you have to live free from sin, you have the wrong preacher. I accuse him of his crimes before God. Jesus said, know the truth and be free. Know the truth and be free. Know the truth and be free. Don't let any man or woman put you in bondage. The Lord said, if you'd confess your sins, he was faithful and just to forgive your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Jesus said the rich man died and in hell he lifted up his eyes. He wanted Lazarus, the beggar that had been in his gate full of sores, and he wouldn't give him even the crumbs that fell from his table. Lazarus died and went to heaven. The angels carried him away to heaven. The rich, the rich man died and the devils carried his soul to hell. He said, send Lazarus to dip his finger in water and cool my tongue. And I accuse Christianity for allowing preachers to preach today under the name of Christianity and saying there's no fire in hell that's calling Jesus a liar. It's brought in all these false religions in the world. I accuse Christianity for allowing preachers in the pulpit to say any kind of religion People will go to heaven, it's a lie of the devil. Jesus came saying, I am the way. I am truth. I am life. I accuse Christianity today for allowing men and women in the pulpit saying, the word of God is not the infallible word of the living God. That God does not have the final say. I was in a nation in a crusade. I'm a man of a big denominational church that doesn't believe in living free from sin. It's of the world. It's of the world. He wanted to talk to me, so I gave him an audience. The Lord moved on me to say, Do you believe that God created the first man and the first woman? Made them out of the dust of the earth. He didn't blink an eye. He said, no. I said, do you believe that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, that he died on Calvary for our sins? Do you believe that? Again, he stared me into my eyes saying, no. I said, what do you preach? You're not fit to preach. You have nothing to preach about. You're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I accuse Christianity for robbing their people, men in the pulpits, living in whoredom. 
abantu batagenda mu gukiranuka and they are keeping them up hanyuma bakais and offerings bakabareka gusaba gatanga ibya 10 na maturo and different people in the church knowing they are committing adultery or fornication kandi bazi ko basamba na mwitorero they are covered with lust and i've met some of them bakababuzuye kwirari it's something awful god lets the gift of discerning takes my so for and i look into the hearts of people and i can tell where they're saved or not through the sign of god imana iranyobora nkareba abantu nkamenya niba bakijijwe cyangwa batakijijwe niba bakora ibyaha cyangwa batabikora if a person's really born again and all their sins are gone and they have been created born new brand new all sins are gone the cross lights up all over but if they're not right with god it's a black cross no light at all no light at all i accuse christianity for allowing preachers in the pool pit to say that witchcraft is all right that wizards are all right when the bible says witchcraft is of the devil in galatians the fifth chapter witchcraft is listed one of the 17 works of the flesh if you're in witchcraft this evening you're headed straight for hell I accuse Christianity of having men and women in the pool pit that they are afraid to take authority over those devilish spirits and they let them come into their churches and they try to mix it in with the gospel and it won't mix. God rules with love. Imana iyoborana urukundo. The witchcraft devils. They rule by fear. And you that's in it you're afraid. I've got news for you. If you have the blood of Jesus applied to your heart, if you'll serve my Jesus, the Savior of the world, they cannot put a spell on you. Jesus came to destroy the powers of the devil. He came to, he is the remedy for all curses. And Christians will come to me and say it, a curse has been put on me. I say, are you really born again? Yes. You believe in the blood of Jesus that is applied to your heart? Yes. Then I say there's no curse upon you. The devil has planted that in your mind. There is no curse. Oh, I know they fix up all their puke and leave it at your door and scare you to death. They don't scare me a bit. All of them put together, all their puke they could bring it today it just be a stinking mess and that's all it's a water wash it off and shout glory and serve the Lord hallelujah the Lord sent me this day and he told me I was to take Christianity into court and try Christianity you have to forsake the world. The Bible says, love not the world, neither things are in the world. There's two churches and two churches only in the world today. Listen to me. Two churches. The world church. It's the biggest one. You can do anything in the, in the world church. Then there's the Jesus church. The Jesus church. The Jesus church. And if you're in that Jesus church, you've been born new. You've been born again. Men, women in the pulpits preaching. There's no born again experience. They are making Jesus a false prophet. Not the Savior of the world, which he is. 
Jesus, when he went away, he told the disciples, if I go away, I'll come again. I accuse Christianity for allowing men and women preach under the name of Christianity and be in our churches today saying there is no rapture of the bride of Christ. You just well to throw the Bible away if you're going to believe them. I read the story of a, an old deacon, an old-fashioned deacon that was born again. The blood was applied to his heart. He had been taught right by an old-fashioned Holy Ghost filled preacher. But that preacher died. They sent a sophisticated world preacher in. A sophisticated world preacher. And said, Oh, that's old fashioned, that's outmoded. Wait, on, I don't preach that kind of gospel. So again and again, the old deacon and the sophisticated so-called pastor would have a run-in. They have a run-in. They'd have a fuss. And so it came time after several years for this preacher to leave. Listen to this story, a true story. For a farewell, he brought a beautifully wrapped package with a beautiful bow on it and said, Pastor, this is for you. Two tears came in his eyes said, Deacon, we have had trouble all these years. I never thought you loved me. I never thought you'd give me a gift. He was so excited in a hurry he was to open the gift. He looked at the gift in astonishment. He said, Deacon, you've missed, made a mistake. This is just the backs of a Bible. I, I presume you meant to give me a Bible. He said, oh no, pastor. Every time you said we didn't need something today, it wasn't for us. I went home and tore it out. And this is all I had left was the backs of the Bible. That's all I had to bring back to you and here it is. So it is. Some years ago in the theological schools in America, checking all of the well-known theological schools 99% of those at that time that were there being trained to be a minister they did not believe in the virgin birth of Christ you either being saved in this crusade I'll tell you like I tell them everywhere I go God, God promised me years ago he would direct the people so we don't give out cards for people to fill out the Holy Spirit will draw you where the Lord wants you to go. You visit the different churches until you find one that believes in all the Bible. You ask him if he believes in living free from sin or her. You ask, do you have witchcraft in your church? Do you believe there's such a thing in the world as good witchcraft? Or voodoo? Or Satan worship of any kind? And if he says yes, 
You run for your life. I say run for your life. Get away from there. You'll be led straight to hell. You'll be led straight to hell. Jesus went away. Jesus went away. Yes. He told us the new the signs that would be in the last days just before he comes the second time. All the end time signs, both bad and good, and I don't have time to go into them today, they're all being fulfilled now. They're listed in the Bible. They're right there. The Lord said, when you see these things coming to pass, you'll know I'm at the door. It's almost time for us to go home, children of God. And the Lord sent me to invite you that's unsaved to come to Jesus and get ready to go. There's just one flight out and I plan to be on it. What about you? The bride's about to go home. Have you studied upon the bride of Christ? Are you really ready? Do you lie? But the Bible says all liars will be cast in the lake of fire. There'll be no deceit. Get through the gate of glory. No deceit at all. Uh, have you taken anything out of the word of God? You either believe it or you don't believe it. I accuse Christianity of allowing men and women in the pool pits in the name of Christianity and they mock the miracle power of God today. They do not believe in miracles. They do not believe in healings. They do not believe the word of the living God. All of God's works are miraculous. All of his works are miraculous. And if you don't believe that, you have no foundation of the word of God. And the Bible tells us for no foundation can man, no man lay than that which has been laid, and Jesus Christ is the foundation. And on the, in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, if you build on the sand, your house will go down in time of storm, you'll be destroyed. Nicodemus, you have to be born again. How can I enter my mother's womb and be born again? He was a great teacher of the Jews, but he didn't understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I'm sure he got that born again experience. Man was not born outside of Eden with the image of God. The Bible declares we were born, we were conceived in sin and iniquities. God created man in his image and that image was lost when man went to the tree of death. Lost. lost. Jesus came Yes, to make it possible that we could be born again born until all our sins are gone born until we have a brand new life born until we have the righteousness of God and we are the righteousness of God Jesus declared he came to make sons and daughters of God not only, our, not only our Savior, but our elder brother. It's time for people to wake up if they ever want to go to heaven. The soul that sinneth shall die. The soul that sinneth shall die. The soul that sinneth shall die. Study the word for yourself. See if I told you the truth. I have brought Christianity 
In the court today before thousands of people here. I accuse them with the word of the living God. They have lied and deceived and caused many people to go to hell. You can be free. Those witchcraft devils, and they are devils, will go out of you. Thousands have been delivered from witchcraft through this Jesus ministry. And you that are drunks and, and you're an alcoholic or you're a drug addict, those, that's devils in you and they'll come out. I want everyone that you drink are your own drugs. Are you in witchcraft or other darknesses of the devil? You want those devils out of you? God has given me power to cast them out. And you'll be free. Jesus will set you free. This is done in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, in my name they shall cast out devils. I accuse Christianity to have, having ministers in the pulpits today that never cast out any devils. But they don't live free from sin and one devil can't cast out another devil, Jesus said. But the Lord said this would be the sign of real believers. In my name they shall cast out devils. You'll find this in the 16th chapter of Mark's Gospel. In my name they shall cast out devils. In my name they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall, shall get well. Ever eye closed and ever hand raised before God. You that are saved, raise your hands and help me pray for those that are lost if you believe the word of God. Say, oh God, I have sinned against you. I know now I'm lost. You have sent the truth to me. And I want these devils to go out of me. I will serve you, Lord. I will live for you, Lord. Now get ready for those devils to go out. Thou foul devils, you have to obey my voice because it's the voice of God, the anointing of God, the power of God. It's a blood voice. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. And the devils are fleeing. The devils are fleeing. The devils are fleeing like defeated armies. The devils are defeated. They are defeated in the blood name. 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 The devils went. Now you have to have Jesus in. Or the devils will move right back in. It's Bible. When the devils are cast out. They'll go out and get more wicked devils. They'll come back to your soul and if it's empty of Jesus and the blood's not there, they'll move back in. The Lord said the latter state of you would be worse than the beginning. Hands lifted now. You that's already saved before today, help me say the sinner's prayer. And everybody say the sinner's prayer. Let's go to heaven. Let's go to heaven. That's my mission. To get people ready for heaven. There's a heaven to go to. Say, oh God. I'm sorry that I've sinned against you. But I've come home. I'm going to serve you, Lord, the rest of my life. And I believe the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. All of my sins. All of my sins. Goodbye, witchcraft. Goodbye, voodooism. Goodbye, darkness. I've come into the light of God's eternal word. Lord, build my mansion. I'm coming home one day. Lord, build me a mansion. I'm coming home one day. 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 Can you say hallelujah, I am saved? Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah, yes, no one day.
Jesus is mine. Yes, no one gets.